फ्रेंड्स द पावर सप्लाई कम टू योर होम इन दिस पावर सप्लाई इफ द वोल्टेज फ्लक्चुएशन अकर्स अगेन एंड अगेन लाइक दिस देन इन दिस कंडीशन इन योर होम दिस डिवाइस हेयर नीड टू बी यूज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट इन योर होम एवरीबडी विल रिमेन सेफ फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक देन इन दिस कंडीशन दिस डिवाइस विच यू कैन सी हेयर दिस डिवाइस नीड टू बी यूज दिस डिवाइस हेयर विल प्रोवाइड प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक टू एवरी वन ओके देन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दीज टू डिवाइस इन डिटेल इन अवर होम जनरली फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल फॉल्ट अकर्स फर्स्ट वन इज ओवर करेंट सेकेंड इज शॉर्ट सर्किट थर्ड इज अर्थ फॉल्ट आफ्टर दिस अंडर वोल्टेज एंड फाइनली ओवर वोल्टेज फॉल्ट अकर्स इन अवर होम एंड इफ यू यूज प्रोटेक्शन डिवाइसिस फॉर दीज इन योर होम देन ऑल द इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लायसेज इन योर होम अलॉन्ग विद द सेफ्टी ऑफ एवरी मेम्बर इन योर होम विल बी प्रोटेक्टेड अमंग ऑल दीज फाइव फॉल्ट If you want protection from the fault of over voltage and under voltage then you have to use this type of protection device This device which I am showing you right now is known as voltage monitoring relay What this device do is it will continuously monitor the voltage coming to your home If this device detects that the voltage coming to your home is increasing or increased or if the voltage is decreased then in this condition this device will completely trip the power supply coming to your home Apart from this this device will provide protection from overcurrent also like i told you the first fault occurs in your home is overcurrent besides if you want that nobody must encounter with an electric shock then you can use this type of protection device in your home this protection device i have now is known as rcbo full form of rcbo is residual current operated circuit breaker with overcurrent protection this means this device will provide you protection from earth fault but along with this you can see a mcb is laid together with this it means this device here provides earth fault over current as well as it will also provide short circuit protection so overall you have to use these two devices and after using these two devices in your home you will get protection from all the electrical faults completely here the voltage monitoring relay i have and here the rcbo which provides protection from earth fault both are manufactured by cnc company now the protection device i have how it works to understand this let's do the wiring when wiring it up keep one thing in mind that the voltage monitoring relay you have connect this relay before rcbo i mean in your home the power supply from the electric pole or energy meter is coming suppose through this blue wire and black wire power supply is coming to home with these two wires what you have to do to this voltage monitoring relay above here you can see in is written so to that side where in is written take the phase supply wire and neutral supply wire connect these two wires here now in this voltage protection device at the output terminals connect one wire you can see here l is written l means you will get phase supply here so connect one wire from here and take the other end of the wire and to the rcbo here connect this wire so i provided phase supply to this rcbo Now this voltage monitoring relay I have at the output terminals here you can see a neutral terminal with this terminal you have to connect one wire and take the other end of wire and to this rcbo with the neutral terminal here connect this wire so i am connecting this wire here now with the output terminal of this device you have to connect power supply to your home for now what i will do take this lamp here connect both the wires of the lamp with the rcbo so that i can explain you everything easily so you only have to do this much connection now i will turn on the power supply after turning on the power supply you can see in this device this device is showing voltage here right now you can see 230 volts this much voltage it is showing here after this below here in this green display current will be displayed this means how much ampere current is flowing in your home will be displayed completely here for now you know that this is off so it is not displaying any current let's turn this on after turning this on lamp turned on but still here no current is displayed here reason behind this is the current rating of this lamp is in milliampere and this device will measure the current from 1 ampere to 63 ampere this means at least 1 ampere current must flow so that device can display current now friends this lamp here i mean the power supply going to our home the voltage flowing in this power supply this device will provide protection from this voltage problems but some programming is required in this 
programming is very simple what you have to do press the m button here you can see here u0 is displayed u0 means over voltage over voltage is already set here that is 250 if you want to change this then by pressing the up and down buttons you can change for now i am setting this as 245 volt for over voltage after this if i again press the m button then under voltage programming will be asked under voltage is already set here as 180 volts it means if voltage falls below 180 volts then in this condition this device will disconnect the power supply so i am not changing this after this when i again press the m button ult is written here ult means if in your home over voltage and under voltage occurs then after how much time this device will provide protection here 4 seconds time is programmed after this you will also get protection from over current maximum programming you can do is 63 ampere here maximum of 63 ampere and minimum 1 ampere programming you can do for now i am setting this as 2 ampere and after this i will also connect a load to show you how it works right now i am setting 2 ampere when 2 ampere is set again press the m button when over current occurs then after how much time this will provide protection we have to set this time here it is 2 seconds now let's change it to 5 seconds this means when high current starts flowing then after 5 seconds this device will provide protection after this you can see reset time here after how much time you want this device to reset you can program this time here so this programming is simple you can do it very easily for over voltage i programmed to 45 volts let's decrease this more i am setting this to 230 volts if the value goes beyond 230 volt lamp will be turned off i done the programming here right now the voltage is 213 volts now i will start increasing the voltage after increasing this much right now it is 236 volts so after 5 seconds lamp will turn off you can see lamp turned off now i will decrease the voltage so let's decrease the voltage here the voltage becomes around 210 volts so when voltage comes back to normal our lamp again turned on it means this device again turned on the power supply now the voltage displayed here i am decreasing this voltage you can see the voltage right now is 161 volts when voltage is decreased this device disconnected the power supply so previously this device provided protection from over voltage and right now it also provided protection from under voltage if the voltage get back to normal in our home power supply will again turn on after this this device provides protection from earth fault how this provides protection from earth fault i will show you this also practically for explanation suppose in this lamp the phase supply and neutral supply which we connected before like you can see here the phase supply is connected here and here neutral supply now suppose the phase supply is connected with the body of lamp this one is plastic suppose a metal object was here like cooler or refrigerator or any other device which contain metal parts and if it is in contact with supply so when you touch the metal part then you will encounter with electric shock for protection from this we use this device how this is going to protect us let's understand I am taking a wire here this is earthing wire I am taking this wire and with the neutral power supply here this one I am connecting this wire so when I connect this wire here you will see this RCBO will trip see here you just saw that when earth fault occurs RCBO got trip you saw the sparking don't try this just for explaining you I took a risk so that you can see practically so you just saw when earth fault happen this MCB here got trip RCBO got trip and MCB also got trip this means you have the complete protection now if I try to turn this on it will not turn on for turning on this push button here press this button it will get reset after getting reset when you turn on this you can see power supply to our home again turned on so you got that how this device provides protection and how this device provides protection from over voltage and under voltage I told you that I will show you current also so with the output terminals here I am connecting a heavy load this drill machine here is now also connected with this lamp when I turn on the drill machine you will see current starts increasing I am turning this on so you can see here current is increasing right now the value of current is touching 1.5 ampere around and we programmed here before for 2 ampere 
we can't see the tripping right now so what i will do is decrease the current rating for changing current we have to go to i0 2 ampere is set i am changing this to 1 ampere save this programming and come out if one or more than one ampere current flows continuously for 5 seconds this lamp as well as the drill machine both will turn off now let's turn this on like you just saw the current was around 1.5 ampere so in this condition drill machine as well as the lamp turned off it again turned on because we are not using drill machine i am turning on this again you will see when current goes more than 1 ampere this lamp and drill machine will automatically turn off So you can see here our lamp is turned off and this drill machine also turned off. So you saw how this voltage monitoring relay and RCBO provides protection from electrical faults in our home. If you didn't use these two devices in your home till now then install these devices in your home. When you install this you remain safe from electric shocks and you will get protection from various electrical faults also. Thanks for watching this video.